Welcome back to another video everyone. So a few weeks ago, one of you guys sent me an ad on Instagram and we all know Instagram ads are famous for promoting the best of the best, whether it be games, apps, uh, content creators. If it's an Instagram ad, you know it's gonna be quality. So this ad that he sent was uh, for an app that apparently can read, your, read the palm of your hand and it brings up all of this very specific information about your future just by scanning the palm of your hand. I'm quite skeptical about it, I won't lie. I think I saved it on Instagram, so we're gonna we're gonna take a look at it, see what it can do, and then install the app and see if it works. All right, yeah, here we go. So it scans your hand. Love, married at 32. Family, have two kids. And your lifespan is 87 years. Wow. So it can, it can figure out what age you're gonna get married at just by scanning your hand. Insane, it's unbelievable. Like, I really struggle to believe that it can actually do that. Install for free. Can't resist that offer. The thing takes you to Google Play, so I think it might only be an Android app. But that's okay, because I do have an oldish Android tablet. Hopefully, it's still compatible. It's got 20,000 reviews, so it's a relatively popular app. A lot of people have tried this, although it's only got a two-star rating. Wonder why. Oh no, they have got an iOS app. This one doesn't have as many reviews. It's only got 1,200, but it's got a it's got a better rating overall. The first thing I've noticed is that it's actually it's actually like a well-designed app. It's got a theme and it works properly. It doesn't just automatically shut down. But can it predict my future though? That's what we're here for. All right, so I tried to scan the back of my hand because I feel like that's a good test. You know, if it can read my palm by scanning the back of my hand, then something a bit fishy is going on here. Did it work? It kind of did. Um, it did manage to scan my hand, but it's a little bit different to how it works in the Instagram ad. In the Instagram ad, you scan your hand, it comes up with all that information. But in this, firstly, it comes up with a three-day trial, then $7.99 weekly. So I did that and then cancelled it instantly. This is what it comes up with. So you can see the picture of my hand there. It comes up with like an overview. Active and vibrant life awaits you. It may be your studying, career, or traveling experience, or in any case, yeah, 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 come on, how many kids am I gonna have? When am I getting married app? This is why I installed you. It comes up with some of the information about the lines on your hand, so like, lifeline. Resisting difficulties are expressed by the degree of curvature of the lifeline. Not sure if it's referring to my lifeline, because I didn't scan the palm of my hand. But either way, it doesn't show my lifespan. And of course, even if it did, it wouldn't be true, because that's not possible. Still though, that's why I installed this app. It's got info about the other lines, and you know, there's charts and, you know, stuff that down here like love 76% responsibility 87% trust but it just it doesn't tell you what it said it would tell you in the ad it's funny because the app is actually a lot more detailed and it looks a lot better than it did in the ad yet I'm still somewhat disappointed imagine that though you have all of this content that appeals to a massive audience people that are into that horoscope stuff yet in your ad you come up with this I mean in a way it worked because I installed it like I said it's not just a palm reader it does a bunch of other things as well magic book number of the day, number of the year. So if you're into all of that stuff, you'll probably like the app. And it's well designed as well, so why not just advertise it normally? No one's gonna believe that it can do the stuff that it says it's gonna do. Furthermore, Ooh, don't think I've used the word furthermore since my last English exam. In addition to this, the people that installed the app are just going to be annoyed when they find out it's not how it's advertised. I think the closest we'll get today of figuring out how many kids I'm going to have is through the magic ball feature. It's exactly how it sounds. You ask the magic ball a question and it answers. So let's try it out, shall we? Ask yes, no question and tap the button below. How many kids will I have? Without a doubt. Right, am I doing this wrong? Good, now you can ask a new question. How many kids am I gonna have? Ask again later. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean ask again later? You're fucking busy or something. Reminds me of that Spongebob episode, you know where he's like, nah, I don't really feel like it. Hey magic ball, tell me how many kids I'm gonna have. Most likely. Okay, let's get, ask it another question. Actually, may, let, let's click get answer and then ask the question. Is that how it works? How many kids am I going to have? Yes. Interesting. Right, okay. When am I going to get married? My sources say no. Will a new Crash Bandicoot game come out this year? Don't count on it. Shit. Shit. Right, okay, well that's enough of that feature. Very useful feature, as you can see. 
So it's like, is palm reading an actual thing? Palmistry is the claim of characterization and foretelling the future through the study of the palm. The practice is found all over the world. Okay, so it seems to be like this actual thing that, you know, people do and it's been around for a long time. And you can see if you type it in, there's a lot of like articles that are like palm reading, re real or fake. So I guess it's one of those things that some people believe in and some don't. I don't know whether or not I believe it. I don't know anything about it. And I don't know whether or not this app is like, does it give you just a random bit of information or does it actually scan your hand and give you, does it actually like give you a bit of personalized information? Or maybe not personalized, but like, does it actually try and give you something accurate? But even if palm reading is true, I'm sure it can't figure out how long you're gonna live, how many kids you're gonna have, when you're gonna get married. In conclusion, if you see a palm reading app that says it can do any of those things, it probably can't. Although I think that much was obvious from the very beginning. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.